folks, I'm Mike. Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this blog ad free. <laughs> hey folks, I'm Mike. This is Inkdependence and today we're talking about bags. We're talking about this bag. This is the Cotopaxi Alpa 28 Travel Pack. Uh, it goes for 170 bucks, pretty much wherever you find it. That's how much I bought it for. Um, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about this bag. I'm gonna show you features. I'm gonna show you the inside, like what can go in it, all that jazz. And then I'm gonna tell you why it's still got this tag on it, why I haven't actually carried it anywhere, and why it's not gonna work for me. So, stay tuned. So this bag on the outside is 1000D TPU coated polyester. Gives it a very nice technical sort of all weather, very durable sort of thing uh, on the outside. Also, it looks gorgeous. Uh, look at this cool color. This is called shark. Uh, in fact, this whole color combo is called shark and grass. Like, look at this air mesh back panel. It says Cotopaxi on there for you. It's got a nice bit of, amount of padding. Uh, the straps themselves are really great straps. I love the way this feels uh, on. I put a bunch of stuff in it yesterday, and uh, man, it, it carries very nicely. This pack does weigh a little over three pounds at three pounds, four ounces. So it's not a light pack uh, when you start out, but um, this thing feels real durable. So you've got that 1000D polyester TPU coated stuff on the outside. The rest of it is 1680D ballistic nylon, um, which is the rest of this gray stuff right here. And it is a nice, thick, like heavy weave. Uh, and I, I dig it. So other things about this bag on the outside before we get inside and kind of squinch this out here. Uh, there's nothing in it at the moment, so this is kind of flat, but this kind of goes curvy on the outside. You've got uh, this awesome alpaca looking uh, face on here, which I think is totally dope. You've got nice little carabiner uh, attachments at the four corners in different colors. And a little bit of Alpa uh, 28 branding right there. This is a 28 liter pack, so it's like small-ish for a travel pack. Uh, but I think uh, you could definitely do a weekend out of this with no problem, single bag style, I'm sure. Uh, also on the outside, you'll see here there are grab handles. There's a blue one over here. There's an awesome like yellow, orange one over here. On the bottom, you have another one. This is a little bit thinner than the other two. These are more substantial sort of handles for like carrying the thing. This is for like grabbing out from underneath the seat or an overhead compartment or something of that nature. Um, over here, you've also got uh, little attachment points on the sides. Uh, and they do sell a lot of accessories for this, so I'm guessing that's what they're thinking you'll attach here. Uh, but since this is very, I don't know if it's waterproof, but it's at least very water resistant. If you're like hanging, I don't know, you're out hiking or you come back from the beach or something, you just like hang your swimsuit from a carabiner and let it dry. And it won't get on the uh, stuff on the inside of your pack. You've got big ol' YKK zippers all around. These main compartment zippers are quite large. Uh, the ones over here are smaller, all YKK, all have these very nice zipper pulls, uh, which are like uh, bonded like nylon bits that match the color scheme of the bag. And uh, I, man, I dig it. It's great. It's better than like a little, sometimes you get these little uh, zipper pulls that have like a little knot at the end. Those will every single time come uh, unknotted on me. And then they fall off, and then I've just got a zipper, and I don't have a zipper pull, and I like a good zipper pull. This is not going anywhere. It's sewn and bonded. Uh, so that's, uh, that's sticking around. Um, on the back of this pack, you'll see you've got these nice straps. These straps feel great. They're very squishy. I loaded this thing up with all my uh, school stuff, plus a bunch of other, I threw books in this thing just to see uh, like what it would feel like when you pack it down with a bunch of stuff. And this harness system is very nice. Uh, I dig these. So you've got these shoulder straps. They do have little uh, quick release couplings at the bottom, these little buckles, because you can stuff these behind this uh, air mesh back panel, which is awesomely bright green. Uh, you can stick it back in there and then you can just carry this like a briefcase if you're not gonna be carrying it on your bag, uh, on your back or something like that. So I think that's a nice, uh, nice touch. Um, you've also got a nice little sternum strap here. It doesn't really come off. I mean, it's got the, it runs on these little runners. It's one of those types that slides. And I think that's pretty good. It gives you a nice, uh, a nice breadth of like places you can attach it. You've also got in here, and I have hidden a, uh, a belt, like a waist strap. Uh, this isn't a very fancy waist strap. Uh, it does have a very nice big uh, buckle on it, however. I've just got it hidden back here because I wasn't gonna use the waist strap or whatever, but that's a serious piece of uh, hardware there. This is uh, D-Flex is what they call it. And man, that's a, that's a great buckle. 
Uh, so there you go. You've got all kinds of strappage there and you can stow all that behind this back panel. Also behind this back panel, sort of in the bag, there is a, uh, I don't know, let me see if you can hear it. There's a hard piece. There's like a stiffener uh, bit back here behind your back. Um, you'll also notice that there is a little zipper right here that is nice and brightly colored. Open that up and you have this little pocket and in this pocket is a full-on rain fly. Uh, it looks like a big shower cap for your bag, uh, but it's got the Cotopaxi logo and all that stuff on there. If you take that out, you've got a nice little pocket. It's not quite big enough for like, this is my phone. This is a uh, iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max uh, and it doesn't quite fit in there. But if you had the regular, oh wait, hold on. Not with a case. If you didn't have a case on it, it fit. So like the regular iPhones and stuff, they'll fit in there. Other small electronics, but uh, you know, you can just put your rainfly in there because this is not entirely waterproof. I think it is pretty water resistant, but throw that rainfly on there, the shower cap for your bag, and uh, yeah, really waterproof-ish. All right. Um, the other big zipper on the back here, which is in light blue. I really like that they have these contrasting zipper uh, covers. You open this. And this is a space that is big enough for a 15 inch laptop. I have a 15 inch, 15.4 uh, Mac Pro uh, that I stuck in here, no problem at all. Uh, I can throw a 13 in there, anything smaller than that will work just fine. And there's a nice amount of pout padding back here. Doesn't really keep it up off the bottom of the bag much. There is a little bit of room, like it's not against the bottom, so if you have to have this packed out, it'll give you a little bit of drop protection. You've also got in here a uh, little uh, uh, Velcro. Velcro job, and this will keep the um, uh, the tablet pouch from opening up separately. So you've got a 12 inch tablet pouch there. I actually kind of yesterday when I was putting this together and like putting my stuff in there, I found that this is not quite big enough for like a um, uh, eight and a half by 11 file folder, like a like a Manila folder. Uh, if they'd made it just like just a smidge longer, you could put your papers in there, your uh, your Chase Reeves. Uh, business papers, but uh, they didn't quite. There's not really a place in this for your business papers unless you also put them in there with your laptop, which is what I was gonna do and it seemed fine. All right, zip that closed. Another thing you'll notice on all the zippers up here on this bag is that it has this little, this little keeper. This is actually an anti-theft measure and you pull that tab through there and now nobody's gonna give that a, a jerk and grab all your stuff. And this is actually on all the zippers. These little uh, carabiner points do that for this top. You've got one over here for the main zippers. They do both go under there. Um, which means that I guess if you're not really traveling or gonna use that, um, you'll wanna not quite zip your, uh, zip that compartment all the way up, which is, or keep your zipper sort of underneath it like this. And then you can just pull it with no problem. But um, that is a little bit of a, it slows it down, which is kind of on purpose. Uh, the other main pocket, before we get into the main pocket, is up here at the top, this blue zip uh, zipper area. Another nice uh, YKK zipper. And in here, you've actually got a surprising amount of space. This goes into the top of this, uh, this domed bit. And uh, inside here, you have your, of course, your, your key lanyard. You've also got a mesh pocket. And this mesh feels pretty... Like it feels kind of flimsy, but I don't think it's tearing or anything. It feels like a good mesh. And inside here is a little bit of organization for uh, like pockets and stuff. They don't have pin pockets. This is not really an everyday like bag, um, which is uh, you know my problem with it really. But you can put a lot of stuff in here. For instance, I have um, a rotor fed Tasha Boo lighter. This is the A5. Cram that right in there, no problem. This is a Galen leather uh, portfolio again, eight five A5. You can put both of those in there with no problem. There's actually still room to spare. I don't know, what else can I throw in there? Uh, uh, we got um, uh, the Leviathan by Hobbes, throw that in there. Uh, Charles Townsend's Terrorism, a very short introduction. Throw you in there too. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, the Federalist Papers. Alexander Hamilton, James Madison, John Jay. Can you fit in there too? Yeah, you probably can. And then uh, does it zip? Yes, it does. So, I mean, it makes it a little top heavy, <laughs> but that's actually a lot of stuff to put in like a little, a little compartment on this bag. It's only a 28 liter bag, but uh, that's a lot of volume you can put in there. That's, that's three, three books, two A5 things. That's, that's the amount of space you have in that pocket. So, kind of a lot, right? Um, so let's zip that guy back up. Um, you'll notice I haven't shown you how to get into the main compartment yet. And that's because the only way to get into the main compartment on this particular bag, there is a 30, I want to say it's a 35 liter version of this bag, uh, which has an extra zipper that lets you into the main compartment of the bag. This doesn't have that. What it does have is a full on luggage style 
clamshell lay flat open, which is great if you're packing this bag as a suitcase um, because this is a travel pack and it's meant to be going on travels with you. So here's the inside. There you go. And you can see here, you've got one big compartment here. We'll go ahead and just go ahead and unzip that. You got more of this mesh stuff on the inside here. You've got uh, like luggage, like tie downs, if you're gonna tie down clothes or whatever. And uh, you've got about this much space in here. About, it's about like this high. So that's perfectly good if you're gonna roll up pants or shirts or like light jackets or something like that. It'll definitely fit in there. Um, but dimensions wise, this is 19 inches tall, uh, um, 12 inches wide, and then nine inches this way. So it's actually, it's plenty of space uh, for weekend travel and such. Uh, on this side, you have a little mesh pocket up at the top for your small stuffs. I've got the receipt in here. Um, I'm taking it back. And then you've got uh, down here is the entry for this front bit that has the TPU stuff on the outside. That's the, the shark bit. And this lets you into the whole rest of this bag. So um, plenty of space actually in this bag. And um, yeah, so as a travel bag, I think this would work really well. It's very comfortable to carry. It gives you lots of room to pack stuff in. It looks super cool. I mean, I I love the look of this bag. Like I loved it so much that I was like, mm, it's got a couple of problems. I'm not sure if I'm going to dig it, but I have to have this. So I got it. Um, so pros, material feels great, looks cool. The color combos are awesome. Uh, the harness on the back, very comfortable. I think this waist belt might be a little bit high. I tend to wear my bags high, and I think this waist belt might be a little bit on the high side for you if you're a larger dude. Uh, but if you're not, then like don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Um, other pros, uh, these luggage compartments and all the pockets and stuff. I love this big pocket up in the top. Uh, I love this stuff for travel. Um, and that's great. And, uh, man, it has so many handles. There are so many handles on this bag. Uh, you can just grab it from every direction, which is awesome because if you're traveling with a bag and you're like, I don't know, you put it in overhead or something, you don't have this handle, you don't have this handle, you don't have this bottom handle to like drag it off from under the seat or something. Well, you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have to like grab the whole side of the bag. It's gonna be awkward. I see people struggling with that on airplanes all the time. Like their bag is up there and they can't figure out how to get it out of the overhead. This one, no problem. And you can put it under your seat too. This will definitely fit under the seat, um, even packed out, I believe. Um, so not a problem there. Um, so look, I told you at the beginning I was gonna be taking this back. And until now I've been telling you like all the reasons that I love this darn bag. Here's why I'm gonna take it back. Um, I don't do a lot of weekend travel. Like, I'll go to pin shows and that kind of thing, and this would be great for going to pin shows, and I think I could probably throw everything I need for a pin show in here if I don't bring, like, I don't know, a huge ton of pins or something like that. But the thing is, I don't do that very often. And so I was really hoping to use this every day because, man, I want to carry this around campus. I, I want to wear this to school, you know? It'll carry my laptop and all my stuff. It's got 28 liters of space. That's a lot of space. It's plenty, plenty of space. Um... And uh, man, I just, I'm so in love with the look of this bag. Here's the thing though. When you open this guy up, and this is what I found out yesterday when I was gonna go to school, you've got like some space. And I was like, oh yeah, I've got, I've got all this space. I can throw just like some books or whatever in there. The problem is that inside this space, you have this, this, this mesh fabric stuff and all these zippers. There is no way to like take this zipper completely. Dude, if they made a version of this bag where you could just unzip all this mesh stuff, like put a little bitty zipper. It doesn't even have to be all that fancy. There's a little zipper around the outside or something. Or snaps. I don't know what it would take. What would be easiest? But if I could take all this mesh stuff out of here, I would use this bag all the flipping time. Uh, it's, it's so cool. But with all this stuff in there, even if you unzip it, like you've got all this material in there. Uh, when I'm on campus, I just want to reach in the top of this bag. I don't want to open this whole thing all the way up and then unzip a thing and then take out like, I don't know, my bag of dongles and my books or whatever, right? I want to be able to just like reach in my bag, grab the thing I need. Um, and for that, this bag is not great. This bag is great for traveling. It is great for carrying. It feels awesome with that harness. It looks super dope. Uh, as long as you like the colors. They do have some more subtle colors. They've got like a dark blue and red, uh, which I think is super attractive as well. But um, of all the features on this bag, I really, if there was a way that I could just get into this main compartment, um, I would super keep this bag. Or if there's a way to get into this top compartment and just like, just use that bit too. Um, I don't know. I think, 
I think the compartmentalization on this bag is great if you are a traveler. It is not great if you want to like use this every day and carry it around campus and stuff. Um, and actually on the Cotopaxi website, you can get a version of this bag, like a package with this bag and another one of their bags. And it doesn't cost tremendously more, but like a small day pack that you can like collapse and maybe roll up or something and stick in here. Um, and that's probably the best thing to do because you're going to travel with this bag, but you're not going to carry it around with you all the time, I don't think. Uh, and so that's why I'm going to have to take the Cotopaxi Alpha 28 back to the store and get a refund because I don't travel enough to justify a $170 bag just for those travel occasions. Uh, if I could use this every day, you better believe I'd be using this pretty much every day. But um, that's, that's my, that's my problem is I can't use it every day. So, all right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, I hope that somebody out there who is a traveler, who's like, I go on a lot of short trips, uh, overnights, uh, weekends, I don't know, three days for sure. You can do three days in here. I don't know why not. Um, you can put like your toiletries bag up here in this top compartment, get to it real easy. You've got your laptop. It's great for travel, man. So if you're a traveler, check this sucker out, find one at a store near you. Uh, I found this at, um, uh, great, um, where did I find this thing? Let me look at the receipt. I always forget the name of the store. Uh, where did I put it? Oh, it's in the main seat. Here's the thing, I can't find it. Here it is, right here. Uh, I got it at the Great Door, Out Great Outdoor Provision Co. So if you're in North Carolina, I think they're like a North Carolina brand. But if you're there, check them out there. Otherwise, go to Cotopaxi.com. Find yourself one of these, because, man, I tell you what, this is darn cool. It's just not for me. All right, that's it. Find me on the, on the social medias. I am uh, at Inkdependence on Instagram. I am in Inkdependence.com. I'm on this YouTube channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend. Uh, leave something in the comments. Let me know what you think about this like color scheme and whether you'd be able to use this guy because, um, man, I wish I could. All right, that's it. Peace out.